so hopefully we've got audio and all that. Oh man, that Peoria oh storm's God. looking really good on the Lincoln radar. Hopefully uh, we've got audio here and everything starts working. Uh, it's gonna take a minute for radar and all that to boot up, but I had to find the microphone setting. I think I had us. Uh, I think I had us forced muted, but I think I got that fixed now. So just uh, please give this thing a moment, everybody, as we get started to uh, kind of catch up and do what it needs to do here. I think I had us forced to mute it. Uh, hospital staff and security staff from the hospital are in pursuit of a male that uh, left the hospital on a fancy subject episode. I've not seen him, but I think he left this to Everybody, again, uh, we'll get going here in just uh, just a minute. I'll explain. I just want to give everybody a chance to uh, join the stream here. And uh, sounds like I did just copy on Monroe's there. Same patient as they dealt with on night shift. Yep. Uh, I'm headed west here. The location is... Uh, should be updating there at the top left at, at all times. Uh, but again here, let me just uh, take care of a couple of uh, things on the back end here. We'll get moving. Uh, no overhype here. Everybody seems to be talking about how today is going to be a F5 tornado outbreak. And that's, I'm going to be straight honest with you guys, it's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, there may be a tornado somewhere today, but the chances are very low. I don't want to BS anybody. That's hence the title. It's just somebody asking. That's why the title is the way it is. Um, people love to overhype stuff for their views. Uh, it's not appropriate. We don't do that here. So there may be a tornado somewhere, but it's very unlikely. Just everybody and their brother is all over the internet today. Oh my God, tornado outbreak. Uh, no, that's not. Sunday driver. God dang. Go ahead. So anyway, folks, there is a marginal that is only a level one out of five risk today despite what all the hype is about. It's only a level one out of five today. For severe weather, there could be a tornado somewhere. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's pretty unlikely. You're more likely to not see one than to see one by a long shot. But I wanted to go live because we're in the kind of vicinity of my home. I figured we might as well go live and uh, make sure everything here works in the vehicle. It's been a while since we've been live. I appreciate everybody who's uh, been patient and uh, continuing to support the channel here. As uh, you know, I can't do this without any of you folks, and it was uh, necessary uh, to, for me to miss that uh, that storm chase down there in Florida. All the tornado warnings I had to to get the vehicle uh, up and going here. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Just had to miss it, unfortunately. But I do have the uh, website pinned in the uh, chat description there, seethestorm.net. If you're new here, definitely check that out. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me a lot. It helps us out a lot. Uh, do you have a new vehicle? Yes. Uh, was paid for outright. So took uh, I took a hit into the operational budget for the year, but... I'm able to have nice equipment here that gets us where we need to go and does what we need to do because of our channel members, or super chats, or PayPal tips. You know, this stuff goes primarily back into the channel. It's expensive to run the channel, 
Um, you know, when I go out, I could be spending anywhere from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a week in fuel, and it's to bring storm chasing for free live to YouTube. And I really appreciate uh, all the help that we get. Uh, still have the other vehicle that's going to be reconfigured uh, to respond to areas after uh, storm damage, uh, preferably uh, lower income areas or areas that might not be getting uh, assistance from other uh, more established disaster response organizations. Uh, we're going to, again, re-equip that vehicle. I actually got pretty much everything taken out of it and put a new livery on it, uh, new lights, new everything. Um, and uh, basically stock that so that it has room to take passengers, but on top of that, it's also got room to put equipment in and move it around because my vehicle, uh, there's just not enough room inside of it to, to move equipment because I've got my equipment in here. So um, that's, uh, that's the plan with that. I'm headed toward Dubuque right now. folks we are live in the radar omega app thank you very much for uh, following along chris thanks chris uh today might be only an hour long stream i don't know i'll be honest with you guys this looks like garbage uh, hold on i gotta find there we go my presets are a little bit mixed up look at look at radar that, that stuff's garbage I'm mainly out here just uh, because it's February and uh, new truck, so make sure everything's up to snuff and working. That's bad. Got my uh, my vision switcher hooked up a little bit different, so my preset buttons are a little different. That takes some getting used to. So, if you guys get stuck on what you think might be the wrong camera for an extended period of time, and you think I might not be noticing it, uh, you can have to blow the chat up because that probably means that I pushed the wrong button and didn't realize it. headed toward uh, that broken line of storms right now that's in eastern Iowa and you can see the uh, sky is definitely darkening. Do I have a drone? Yeah, I've had a drone for probably eight years now. I've... I remember I got my first drone in like 2017, so that's why. 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, about seven years now. I remember it used to be cool to have a drone, but now everybody has one. But that's back when you actually needed to know how to fly them because they didn't have GPS or really gyroscopes or anything. You had to actually know what you're doing. I think we just got an SVR. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Sorry, I'm swearing because I can't figure out how to operate. I got a different radio in here and I can't figure out how to operate. National Weather Service in the Quad Cities has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Joe Davies County, northwestern Jackson County, southeastern Dubuque County until 4.30 p.m. At 3.53 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Otter Creek, or 12 miles north of Makokota, moving northeast at 55 miles an hour. Expected hazards include quarter-sized hail, Damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Galena, Bellevue, Scales Mound, Limoth, Melody, Council Hill, St. Benetus, Swingwell, Fulton, Chatville, Guilford, Rice, Otter Creek, South Gary Owen, Gary Owen, Aiken, Washington Mills, Galena Territory, Apple Canyon Lake, and Spruce Creek Park. 
Take cover now. Alright, I get a little satisfaction out of that, folks, because I was getting a lot of garbage on social media. People, uh, complaining, oh, he got a new car, and he's too good to chase storms, he's not in Illinois today. No, he's too good, because he's got that fancy truck now. Well, I think that's funny, because here I am, 45 minutes from my house, I didn't even plan on chasing today, and we are the ones that got the first severe thunderstorm warning of the day, not these jerk-offs on Twitter that are all sitting down there in Illinois, complaining and complaining, oh, he's got a fancy car, he don't chase no more. Ah. Folks, that's severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, we're gonna drop south. We might even take Dump Road. Some of you guys may remember Dump Road. I turn my lights on too, but it might be frowned upon. Might have to take Dump Road to get in position for this. I said I would turn my lights on too, but it might be frowned upon. Well, if you do your rear ones, it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's... I, uh, yeah. No, we're not turning the lights on. It's stupid. Jesus Christ. Now, if you had all of them on, yeah, that'd probably be a little frowned upon. Those are the funnest ones, though. Oh, my damn uh, chat phone just rebooted. Those are the get-out-of-my-way lights. Oh, my God, I can't see this. Guys, I just lost chat. I don't know why. Chat phone just So, the series on us for morning is for one-inch hail. And uh, we are not going to be taking Dump Road. Dump Road is too far to the west upon further inspection. So, we will not take Dump Road. I'm gonna try to keep it in Wisconsin here just because the road network's a little better. But this storm's coming at us, so I think I'm gonna drop south here on uh, County Road, whatever this is, or State Highway 78 out of Gratiot. We should have better connectivity in the car now, too, folks. We've got the uh, high performance Starlink dish, which is the flat, in motion approved one. That's the one that we need for this. I just haven't been using it, but that's the one that's installed on the truck. So we should actually be, um, we have a better connection now, I think. It should hold a connection a little bit more. Love or reliability. So we are approaching that severe thunderstorm warning just outside of it. It's coming toward us at about 50 miles an hour. Uh, a bunch of super chats came in, folks. I'm having a bit of an issue with my chat phone, so I will read those at the end of the stream. time that uh, I was out this way, we were in that blizzard. A lot of you folks remember that. This is one of the routes we took. Not too far from where I uh, blew the belt off. Well, it's to our west and going north. The moment we start going south, we gave up on it. Well, when we start going south. Here's uh, 78. We're going to dive south on 78. Try to get in a little better position for this thing.
do have a rattle coming from the back. It's like a metallic rattle. It sounds like uh, like your fingernail tapping on a piece of sheet metal. And uh, I ripped the entire truck back apart last night trying to find it. Couldn't find it. Found out today it's the damn uh, it's the mount for the spare jack. It sits behind one of the bo uh, plastic panels. I need to uh, figure out like I don't know. It, it's like tack welded to the sheet metal. Like one of the tack welds broke, so I, I don't know if I can rip it off or if that's gonna damage the sheet metal. I may have to like try to shove a piece of cardboard or squeeze some silicone behind it. I don't know, but regardless, I'll get that fixed because it's driving me nuts. I'm just happy that I found it. Starlink's already holding most of our bandwidth now, so I think uh, the new Starlink antenna, the high performance one, is, is definitely good. I think it was $2,700 freaking dollars, so it better be good. standard dish that I was using before is okay, but it's not. It's just not made for mobile use. Test out the rear camera. Do I name my trucks? No. I definitely don't. Hold on here. I'm trying to get this one the right way. just want to check out the uh, rooftop camera here, make sure everything's working. Christ, what a pothole. Yeah, you can see the uh, new Starlink dish there in that picture. <laughs> Let's look it off to uh, the southwest toward that uh, sphere worn storm. Uh, here's kind of what everything looks like in here. I know this doesn't give you the full picture, but everything's set up basically the same as the other Tahoe, except instead of the Havis uh, center console, I just used the jump seat, and uh, the monitor for the cameras is way down here now, so it doesn't glare in my face. There we go, that's the camera I want. I tell you what, though, this... Uh, this truck's a bit of an experiment because I've got uh, E-rated tires on it. LT, uh, LT, you know, light truck tires, and you got to run a little bit more air in these because they're meant to have it. And uh, I went a little bit too hardcore. I want to put 55 pounds in them. I think I need to drop it down to 45. But this thing's just bouncing all over. But cool thing about this truck is it's got. Uh, uh, adjustable uh, shocks on it so we can actually literally turn a dial and uh, change the ride quality so I've been playing around with that and I think I've kind of found uh, where I like it so the plan is to take this out on some of the 4x4 trails Moab, uh, the San Juan Mountains those are the only places I've been. I haven't gotten out to like California, Utah really much, but there's trails out there. One of the things that I used to be really, really into was uh, off-roading. Uh, I've got, a, you know, I've always had Jeeps, trucks, big four-wheel drives. Um, I, I really enjoy the four-wheel drive community. It's much better than the weather community. And uh, I want to bring uh, IRL live streaming to the uh, off-roading community. So that was kind of one of the big reasons why it pushed me toward this vehicle because it's already built for off-road. It came from uh, Bureau of Land Management Services, like in Idaho or something. It was basically it was for law enforcement uh, in a very I forgot which county, but it's a very rural uh, area of law enforcement. And this this thing was off-roading and it's taken very well care of. That's why it's got the two-inch lift on it, uh, the big ass bumper, uh, all that. So this thing's built for off-road, and so I didn't really have to do much to it. And I want to start taking you guys with the power of Starlink to some of these off-road trails, because there's some really, really cool places that you, you never would imagine were even out there. 
Uh, you know, Moab will be easier to stream because it's more open, a uh, clearer view of the sky for the dish. But some of those trails out in the San Juans, uh, like uh, the up like near Silverton and Telluride and Uray, the Alpine Loop, there's some forested areas uh, that the satellite will struggle in. But there's also a lot, once you get up in elevation on the actual passes, should have no problem having a connection out there. So I want to start taking you guys on these slower, uh, the slower periods where there's not a lot going on. I want to take you guys out there and, and show you uh, some of these cool things um, because some of these, some of these places are you, you'll never experience unless you've got a vehicle to do it and the knowledge to do it. And you know, actual four x four trails, um, you're, you're not going to find that being live streamed on YouTube because there is no cell phone service out there. You know, we'll have a Starlink signal. Thankfully, uh, I love it out there. I've got a lot of experience out there. Back in 2016 and 2017, I did a lot of volunteer work with uh, one of the four-wheel drive recovery groups out there. Um, basically, uh, go out there, volunteer your time. These people that got stuck, slid off, rolled their vehicles, whatever. A bunch of us would go out there with our big redneck mobile vehicles and winch them off, uh, whatever, and I had a lot of fun doing that, I'd go out for like a week at a time, a couple times a year, and I'm not going to be doing that, I just want to get get back out there, because it's, it's totally, there's a lot of really pretty scenery to be seen uh, over here when you get off the beaten path, and it just kind of goes with my brand, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm finding that I don't fit in with anybody, I don't fit in with any groups, um, I, I'm I, I have very stern beliefs when it comes to uh, how people need to conduct themselves out here and the respect that we need to have for the craft that is, you know, weather observation. And I find it just, it's kind of better to be, it's best to pave your own road, so to speak, and we're going to physically do that here more, to try to take uh, the road less traveled more often. And uh, try to experience some uh, some new things in the UFOs. That is our severe warned storm right there in the distance. It's approaching us. Uh, it should be here probably in 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to try to get us in a little better position. Yeah, and I'm going to be getting the, this truck down to Bob here at the end of the, the week. And, uh, it's got a the ball joint on the upper, this is what pisses me off so much about these uh, AC Delco parts. This has uh, aftermarket, it's got an aftermarket lift, Rancho shocks, all that, but it's got AC Delco or the GM uh, upper control arms on it, and they're new. They look like they were replaced in the last couple of months because they still have stickers on them. But the ball joint boot is ripped off almost, it, it's just tore up on the passenger side upper. And uh, there's no, uh, it's not a serviceable ball joint. You can't press it out. And no, I'm not going to just replace the boot because it's already contaminated. We fix things right. No cobble job. No rigging. Do things right. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. But, so that needs replaced because that ball joint is going to be contaminated. You know, so that needs replaced. So this thing's going to need sway bar links soon. So if Bob's going to help us out. They're going to do a couple of things down there for me and get this thing aligned. If it needs anything else, maybe it'll need lower ball joints, who knows, but take it down there and let them uh, take care of it, give it a once over, make sure everything's good to go. And we'll still be chasing, but it looks like uh, we'll be down here along the Gulf Coast in the next couple of days. So we'll just run over to Atlanta. And then eventually later on, we're gonna have them do uh, a torque converter upgrade and all that in here. Because these six L80s, that's kind of the, the problem with them is torque converters go to shit on them. So we're going to do that pre preventatively. Man, look at that view of that storm out there, guys. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, it's like David said. Yeah, if you don't fix this stuff right, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. You're just asking for problems if you don't fix it right. Got this thing on uh, VF Goodrich KO2s. Um, normally, you would see me with like a hand cooked uh, Dynapro, but the sidewalls, 
to get that Dynapro in an E-rated tire, or a load range E, which is going to have the three-ply sidewall, the thicker sidewall, you're spending so much money. You're just better off getting the KO2s, which is what I did, because when we go off-road, we're going to need to air the tires down to go over rocks so that, number one, I don't break my back, and number two, uh, we actually can have traction. But, uh, I got to turn here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my camcorder but, thing is an HDMI cable but, issue, not the camcorder. Anytime, like, I feel like we're about to go off road into this damn, uh, what says, the heck kind uh, of turnaround is this? Slot where it's plugged in and it starts the audio. Yeah, I, I but these KO2s are good. Uh, they're good tires. Oh, that's a dead end. What the frick? My map shows it as a. Okay. The cord itself, the HDMI cable, I think it's the HDMI cable itself. Yeah, KO2s are an interesting tire. A lot of people don't like them. Once I see the audio drop on my live, uh, they say that uh, they hydroplane really bad and stuff. I've never noticed that. I used to have KO2s on my F-150, and I never noticed excessive hydroplaning. Any all-terrain tire is going to have a little bit worse performance in the wet, in the wet, uh, wet roads, and that's just because of the, the tread design. There's really nothing that you can do about that. And I found that the KO2 works does pretty darn well uh, in mud for what it is. I mean, they're not. It's not a mudding tire. It's not a mud terrain by any means. But for an all-around tire that still does good on the road, it's two hundred and ninety dollars a tire. But again, it's it's worth it. I my pet peeve is when people buy cheap tires. Like they'll have a nice vehicle and they'll put cheap tires on it. No, it's a safety thing, guys. Tires are the only thing that connect your vehicle to the road. There's no, it doesn't make a lot of sense to skimp and buy cheap tires. And I know that budgets and times are tough, but sometimes these people go and buy these $100 a piece China bombs from Discount Tire. They'd just be better off going to the junkyard and getting a half worn down KO2 or a half worn down, you know, Goodyear Eagle or a Dynapro. Go get it something that's built better, even if it's half worn down here. You're almost better off, because those China bombs for 100, 100, 150 a tire, they're, they're junk. Blow right out. But, uh, guys, I'm kind of at this, the point here where I think we're going to stop and find a spot to observe, because this storm's coming right at us. We have a good view. I go down here to, what is this? This is a dump road, is it? Uh oh. Where's Dump? No, Dump Road isn't down more. We've got Dimmick. Dimmick Road coming up. I think I'm going to try to park up, post up on that. But, you know, I, I used to rant and rave before about how I didn't want four-wheel drive, and I don't. I don't want four-wheel drive because it's more stuff to break. But in order to expand and do the things we want to do, I have to have four-wheel drive. So I'm not taking my two-wheel drive uh, road vehicle on Jeep trails. It's not, not going to end well. Oh, and the GM fans, this thing's got the G80 option code. This thing's got the auto-locking rear differential. So this thing should be an absolute freaking animal for us uh, off-road. Big fan of the G80. It's that Eaton rear end. We'll take Dimmick's Road here a little bit to the south. Look at that. Snow on the ground and a severe thunderstorm warning. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, 
National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Lafayette County until 5 p.m. At 4.13 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Galena, moving northeast at 50 miles an hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. Damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Darlington, Shellsburg, Benton, Wilder, New Diggings, South Wayne, Lamont, Gratia, and Lead Mine. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Let me go outside and do a real quick update, folks. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. for northwestern Joe Davies, north central Jackson, and east central Dubuque counties. At 4.11 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Galena, moving northeast at 51 miles an hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Galena, Bellevue, Scales Mound, Melamine, Council Hill, St. Donatus, Chapville, Guilford, Rice, Spruce Creek Park, Landing Landing, Smiths, Aiken, Canyon Camp, Massey, Galena Territory, Apple Canyon Lake, and Rodden. Here is a special weather statement for the following counties in Illinois, Oval and Winnebago. A passing weather system will cause southerly winds to gust as high as 45 miles an hour at times throughout the day. Such strong winds may lead to difficulty driving on west to east oriented roadways in open and rural areas, including along Interstates 80 and 88. In addition, the strong winds may blow around lawn decorations and cause small tree branches to fall. Winds will begin to subside after sunset. Here is a special weather statement for the following counties. In Wisconsin, Green and Lafayette. At 4.08 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a cluster of strong thunderstorms along a line extending from 10 miles northwest of Mineral Point to near Argyle. Movement was northeast at 55 miles an hour. Expected hazards include wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour and a half inch hail. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor hail damage to vegetation is possible. Locations impacted include Western Madison, Pittsburgh, Middleton, Monroe, Verona, Oregon, Mount Horrid, Dodgeville, Sauk City, Broadhead, Mineral Point, Darlington, Cross Plains, Belleville, New Glarus, Missouri, Shorewood Hills, Brooklyn, Black Earth, and Shuttlesburg. This includes the following highways. Highway 18 between mile markers 49 and 80. All right, we're going to continue watching this for a little while. may want to start moving here. Might be best to go back over to 78 south of Gratiot, honestly, because you got to kind of time this just right. The storm's moving quickly, and it's a little bit messy, so we want to be a little bit farther east, I think. Had a severe thunderstorm warning behind me for one inch hail coming across the state line from Illinois. This thing's moving 40 to 55 miles per hour. And it's going to bring it again quarter quarter size. From Chaser Mint's load here, I am in southwest Wisconsin, south of Grafton, to be specific. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning behind me for one inch hail coming across the state line from Illinois. This thing's moving 40 to 55 miles per hour. And it's going to bring it again quarter Hopefully, man, this storm is freaking gorgeous. All right, we're going to get moving. Let's start rolling uh, kind of back the way we came. You gotta be in position for this here, because it's gonna move by us so quick. If there's anything to see, it's gonna be tough to see it.
start to lay and save an out for him. Traffic, you can do it. Sorry about all that water, it is raining. Far from home for me. This is a pretty easy storm chase so far. somewhere over here so that we can look at toward the southeast quadrant of it. So we'll get back over to 78. I think that'll be sufficient. It's moving so quick we don't want to get aggressive with it. It needs a little bit of time yet.
Basically find a nice high spot to look out. for a brief moment to take a uh, back road over because that road just continues down into uh, Warren, Illinois and then you get to go through that little town and it just slows it down. structure to these storms, kind of a mess. Shoot, this is our road. Thanks for joining everybody. Pretty good spot. I think we just want to let these storms come to us. I just gotta find a good spot to watch. We're gonna sit we're on a higher higher spot where we can actually get off of the road.
Hopefully you guys caught that awesome lightning. Alright, we're just going to sit and watch this for a couple of minutes. sure you guys just missed that really really good lightning strike too but i think i got it on my phone hold on here i think i got that on camera oh my god wait till you see this holy shit this is nuts wait till you see this i've never caught lightning on my phone before ever this was a total accident. Wait till you see this. Somebody page Phil Johnson. I got lightning on my iPhone. It's going to be side. I'll show you this here. Hold on. Oh, dang it. It's spun. How do I... Hold on. There's got to be a way to do this, right? Rotate. Right? Spin. How do I do... Come on, iPhone or Apple, you freaking. Check this out. Nope, check that out. I caught lightning on my iPhone by accident without even trying. Winning. All right, we'll continue to sit here and watch. I'm going to spin the camera back a little bit. It's going to be a freaking awesome time lapse. I wish I was recording. on right 
Hold on, I'm going to see if I can quick edit this and post it. Yeah, probably fine. Sterling 59, clear control. Clear. Lightroom is being stupid right now. So uh, University of Wisconsin, please. G. George R. Robert, 8, 8. G. George R. Robert, 8, 8, in Wisconsin Specialty. Velocity just picked up a lot. Oh my god. Why is this thing not... For some reason, Lightroom is like just totally disorganized all my photos here. Hold on, you're doing a real quick edit to try to brighten this up a bit. So, we are still severe warned. That is not talk about how you pitch Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and get this tweeted. I'm going to move the camera. I hate to do it for, like, time lapse sake, but really pretty with the sunset. Tweeting now. Might be time to get moving on this again here soon. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's see. trying to uh, not move this camera around because I feel like I can go back and pull a time lapse out of this, but. Okay, now it's Delta Hills 1040 at this time. Cap 88, 1640. It's uh, kind of hard not to. I think we're actually about to have a hell of a sunset display here once this cloud goes over. Oh my god, this is super pretty. I'm gonna spin the camera again. Sorry for time lapse fans. Totally screwing this up. But look at look at this guy, it's beautiful. Photo time.
166, secure. Down. Hard time believing this guys but there's a very slight bit of uh low level rotation right about there center frame not much okay. it's not really even where i would expect it but you know we've got somewhat favorable uh somewhat favorable hodographs for tornadoes today but we're missing a lot of ingredients that's why we're not looking at a major tornado event here It's probably going to be time to start moving here soon. Oh yeah, we got to get west right now. <laughs> A little little bean over Lena is heading toward uh, my town, my hometown. Shit. Head south on South Holland Road toward Bellevue Street. Your route may be affected by severe thunderstorm warning. What a beautiful day. I'm so happy we're out here. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This is great. It's February in Head north freaking on South Wisconsin. Holland Road toward South Prairie Road. And we've got a freaking supercell in looking thing. Mile, what the hell? Right like, South what's Prairie going Road. on here? Somebody call Al Gore. Just kidding. That was a joke. Somebody, please don't take offense to that. It was a global warming joke. It's supposed to be funny. Don't take it seriously. Wisconsin, Clay, Adam, Victor, Adam, 4638. Adam, Victor, Adam, 4638. Turn right onto South Prairie Road. All right, we're going to burn up some pavement here. Got this other cell. Continue on South Prairie Road for three quarters of a mile. Right there, I need to watch that. What the hell was that? Something in the back. In a quarter mile, turn left onto County Road KK. Turn left onto County Road KK. Uh oh, we have a tractor traffic jam here. It sure as hell do. Very much a lot of lightning here. Continue on County Road KK for four miles. Pursuit of this next little cell that's coming out of Illinois. Nothing good comes out of there, so we gotta watch this storm. That was a joke. Sorry, I like to, 
I like to tell jokes. I hope nobody took offense to that. I used to live in Illinois, but I'm just saying nothing good usually ever comes out of there. So, really gotta watch that one. We're on this channel. We don't take political sides. We don't take any of that crap. We just joke about stuff that's funny. So that's what we're doing. Warning for it. Should come out over any second now. Turn right onto Wisconsin 11, Wisconsin Trunk Highway 11. Continue on Wisconsin 11 for 15 miles. Here we go. Where that water blows off of the lens there, that roof camera pretty soon. That's the best shot I got right now, so we'll just have to kind of deal with it. Definitely an increase in lightning, I agree. Severe thunderstorm warning now for my county and my house. That means we've got a cy stationary cyclone port there on my property that's got a view of this as well here soon. Find that in the radar Omega app. Get two cameras on the storm 
on the same set under the same brand. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lafayette County, Greene County, until 5.30 p.m. At 4.50 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Warren to near Winslow, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Expected hazards include quarter-sized hail. Damage to vehicles... It's hard to tell though, these big SUVs with everything just so loud. Maybe developing over us according to Radar Omega.
Uh, the Stormnet product is really picking up on these storms as well. Evan just sent me the screenshot of that. Stormnet's kind of an experimental uh, tornado predicting product and does very well. So we need to be monitoring these uh, very, very close. behind us with the sunset. the severe thunderstorm warning. I'm trying to get east. Looks like these two uh, cells, well, at some point they're going to have to merge. Whether that's going to help them or hurt them, it remains to be seen. We will see. Lightning today has been uh, pretty intense. Again, the severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile per hour winds, one inch hail. Oh my god! Shit, screw this view, I got a better one. Wait, I just now looked over to my right. Hold on, uh, can we spin fast enough? Look at that. Oh yeah, screw that view off to the west. We'll look at this one, this is way better. Look at that uh, really sculpted backside. This is the, the updraft base of that uh, uh, cell that's just south of Monroe. Look at this, guys. Oh, the sun is so bright, though, it's blowing that out. But trust me, as soon as we get down the road and the angle of the sun changes, it's going to be even better. It is so awesome in person. Just hold that camera for now.
beautiful, beautiful looking updraft. Are you mobile by chance, or are you at home? Yeah, I'm at home, but... Alright, this one coming out of uh, south of Monroe here just looks absolutely awesome. I didn't catch that, I'm in a bad spot for the repeater, I guess. got some pretty good structure to it, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. I didn't know if you were out and about or not, but we'll see if it does anything. I didn't bring up the net or anything. I wasn't too sure if it should or not, but it doesn't need to be a whole lot of wind and maybe some hail, but it's still good enough to shit at the net for us. Yeah, keep an eye out. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll pass. Great, On the morning, just a way. In half a mile, turn right onto Patterson. I'm looking at the cell over by South Wayne. It's just advanced, but it had a it had a pretty good little strong it couplet on it. There. It, it, there. it, it, it was the South Wayne. Uh, 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 Copy the tornado warning. I'm at Patterson Road at 11. I'm over by the tower. I think the tower just got hit by lightning. Uh, I think I got it on camera too. Tornado warning. Scott, go ahead, Casey, now we like 
That's a quick KO report. We got uh, quarter inch. The ground is white here, and uh, it's kind of letting up right now, but the south side of Monroe, the, the ground is white with, uh, oh, I would say, um, nickel, the quarter size seal, maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a pretty good size, anyway. It, it, uh, now they're blowing the sirens, but anyway, uh, back to that. Uh, this is KC9YI. Are you trying to get in there, Vince? Not quite making it. Negative. Gary, I don't know if you heard me earlier. We've got a 1.5 inch hail on the ground out here uh, by WKC. I begin bigger. Uh, Scott, watch out. Put your car in the garage. It's coming toward you. Big stones. Alright, thanks. White here, Vince. This is KC9YI. Yeah, definitely some pretty good size hail. Yes, yeah, so we've got a pretty stout lowering on this with some light rotation on it. This looks like it's about to probably try something. It's uh, approaching 69. I'm at Melvin and Bethel right now, and it's right overhead. That might be about to produce a tornado. Hold on, guys. I think that's about to produce... Tornado warning for both storms now. It's, uh, let's get in pursuit of this. rotation. Another polygon. So uh, we got two uh, tornado uh, uh, 
Warren Fells at the moment. Oh, Roger, are you, did you get any hail over in Broadhead? It's all still, uh, it's all still west of us here, yeah, it's more, uh, it's more in the center of the county, over uh, just uh, north and east of Monroe right now, and um, uh, north and northeast of uh, Brown Town, are the biggest portions of the cells right now. Alright, um, just expect some hail. They came down pretty hard, and it was probably, I want to say, maybe quarter size. Alert. Skywarn. Net active. By the looks of the radar, it's moving northeast and it's going to miss broad it to the north and the west. But uh, we are getting sights like my little cell here right now. We're starting to see just a little bit of rain, but uh, it's, uh, that looks like Albany's in the, in the path of this. Your call has been forwarded to an auction. You understand there could be a tornado coming right at the house here, right? Yeah, but I'm getting everybody downstairs. No, do not go downstairs right now. You need to keep your nose outside and watch and make sure we don't get hit by this. If it starts coming at the house, I want you in the car and I want you to leave. Understood? Attention all units. Understood. All Thank units. you. This is a National Weather Service warning. A tornado warning for East Central Lafayette and Southern Central Wisconsin, Western Green County, and South Central Wisconsin. Again, light. We're about to go through you. This is the biggest uh, joke of a light in this town too. Why on earth are you telling them to get in the car? Kevin, it's my family, so why don't you let me worry about it? I'm not going to have hateful comments, okay? Our house, the way our basement is built, if a tornado hits our house, the house is going to end up in the basement. Okay, it is not safe for them to be in the basement. They would need to evacuate the house. End of fucking story. Thank you. Let me deal with my family, I'll let you deal with yours. Our house is not structurally sufficient to be around in a tornado. There's too much debris, too much sheet metal. It's not safe to be in that basement. They would need to leave. End of story. I'm not fucking dealing with it. Thank you. I just, I hate how every time we have something, everybody's got a nitpick. We have a tornado warning for a pretty populated city here, guys. Let's focus on that. This is a pretty serious situation. my hometown, so I'd appreciate if maybe we could just let me operate here without nitpicking it. This is not a very good feeling here. Big supercell. It's my hometown, guys. It's not a good feeling. Okay, the National Weather Service canceled the uh, tornado warning for Lafayette County. That's a call moved into green, but the Tupaliyans are still active in Green County. Again, uh, north, west, north, east of Brown Town, um, Monroe, you're in the clear at the moment. This is uh, north and east 
Hills Monroe moving towards the Albany. Uh, still remaining active, not seeing much really for rotation at this time. But um, doesn't mean it's uh, not out there. There is also some good uh, there's some good winds out there though with it. Um, just north and east of Monroe. So uh, uh, keep an eye. I don't know where you're at then, but uh, that'd be the, uh, if you're mobile, that'd be the, the direction to head. Uh, I'm on 80. Well, I just got on the bypass going east of Monroe. Uh, where were you looking? Uh, north and east of, uh, of Monroe. Um, what is that? Uh, 59. You can make your way up towards 59 or if you want to take south and east of uh, 59 up that way. Copy. That's what I'm looking at here. I don't know if you've got my stream up or not, but this is an incredible supercell. It looks like it's Kansas. Uh, I haven't seen anything. It looked like it was going to produce there uh, when I was south of town, but it kind of lost that. But still a really, really good looking structure to it. Well, another DPS just popped up just uh, south and east of Monroe again here. Uh, a little couple of starting to form, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to find you on the track. Yeah, it's, if you've got the Radar Omega app, it's live there. Or just see the storm.net. Uh, there's a link to YouTube on there. I do that. K9 TSU. Figured out. You're making it, Kenan. Okay, it's here. Was that there? Sorry. Did you and the other units copy the tornado warning? Uh, Greenbush and uh, 59 and uh, there's a bowl funnel developing in front of me with uh, really tight rotation at Greenbush and 59 looking due east Here, Roger that. it's pretty high based though so I'll keep an eye on it that's got seriously tight rotation in it Right here, guys, this thing is really wrapping up right in there. But it's kind of going back up. It was coming down a bit. It looked like we were going to get a bowl of funnel in there for a minute. Let me reposition. Roof camera. like that was going to produce, but it's not. Well, maybe it will. Very weird. We're missing something. There's not a whole lot on radar. We're going to go northeast on State Highway 59 right now toward Albany. Look at this incredible supercell structure, guys. We're right near the Monroe Airport right now.
We're just gonna sneak around this guy because it's a pretty serious deal here. I'm gonna switch you looking north. Right by the Monroe Airport, guys. It's looking uh, off to my left, off to the north. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for this area, as does a tornado warning. Uh, this storm has looked like it was going to produce twice now, and it hasn't. But it was damn close there a moment ago. Jared Eater up here for a bit on 59, I think, but... That area that was spinning is kind of subsided now, though it's not really an imminent threat at the moment. Alert. Sky warning. Net active. Okay, I know your home repeater is up pretty good. You're in there just fine. Oh, yep, okay, yep. Got Might be a funnel cloud developing. Hard to tell. County F and County SS and 59. Sam Sam and 59. Yeah, they did. Not sure this why. Up all there. Kind of west of here, but yeah, they did. Let's keep going because the storm's moving fast. Let me spin you around here. Actually, we're gonna get the tree. Let's get past these trees. Yeah. clearing past these trees. Stationary camera up in Brooklyn in the Radar Omega app. You guys can check out too. Shelter. 
Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs. I'm gonna pause windows, for a minute. Vehicles will occur. This driveway. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Monroe, Broadhead, Monticello, Albany, Judah, and Attica. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors in a mobile Out of the car, or in a Jerry. vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from falling debris. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 5.30 p.m. for Greene County. At 5.18 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Monticello to near Albany, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Monroe, Broadhead, Belleville, New Glarus, Brooklyn, Monticello, Albany, Dayton, Browntown, Attica, Judah, and Jordan Center. Oh, an intense wind. To an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The following is a special weather statement from the National Weather Service. Strong southerly winds today. A passing weather system will cause southerly winds to gust as high as 45 miles per hour at times throughout the day. Such strong winds may lead to difficulty driving on west to east oriented roadways in open and rural areas, including along Interstates 80 and 88. In addition, the strong winds may blow around lawn decorations and cause small tree branches to fall. Winds will begin to subside after sunset. guys can copy we have a tornado coming down we have a funnel cloud at highway 59 and s sam 59 and s sam this funnel cloud is about three quarters of the way to the ground jerry cannot hear the repeater funnel cloud coming down no contact yet but it's very stout looks like it's about to be a tornado jerry i know you're watching i cannot hear the repeater I cannot hear the repeater, but this thing is looks like it's wanting to produce right now. We are at 59 and S Sam. 59 and S Sam. Rapid rotation, guys. Before I switched the camera, that thing was looking really, really stout. I did record it. We'll go back into recording. We are at Highway 59 once again, an S Sam. That thing's about to come down. Look at that. That might be on the ground. There might be ground circulation under there. In fact, I think that's ground circulation under there. Son of a bitch. This is real close to my home, guys. Wait, let me get the camera spun around. Just. ground circulation. Um, I cannot hear the repeater. I'm at County Double F Frank and 59, about two miles east of there, ground circulation. It's uh, going to be east of 59 on Frank Frank. That is a tornado. Ground circulation confirmed. It is not on the ground. Yes, it is. Ground. Rotation and a funnel cloud and hook and F-truck. Not on the ground, but funnel and uh, rotation. I'm going to call this in. 
Green County 911. What is the address of your emergency? Hey, I'm a train storm chaser. I'm with uh, Radar Omega and Fox Weather. This tornado was briefly on the ground east of 59 off of Double F Frank. It's now just a funnel, but it's about to come back down again. Okay, I'm sorry. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Vince Wealthy. I'm a storm chaser with the media on 59 at Double F Frank. I am tailing like you would not believe, ma'am. I cannot change anything at all. Flash. Cat, 911 at Cat. I don't know if you can hear my audio or not, but that is a uh, power flash. It's on the ground. Uh, Keenan, get a hold of Nikki. I need her to leave. This is going to my house. It is on the ground. Cat, 911. I don't know if you can copy me. Through. I don't know if you have me on hold or not. If you can hear me, this is on the ground right now doing damage. tornado coming toward the house. Do you copy? Nikki. You Guys, there is a tornado headed right toward my house. Looks like it's lifted. my audio? My car is not starting. What do you mean it's not starting? I can't get it to start. I don't know. All right. I need you to calm the fuck down. First of all, I need you to keep an eye to the south. Okay. That means you're going to have to physically go outside and look to the south. Okay. If you need to, I do not want you in our basement. You need to go to the neighbors. Okay. They already told me to. Okay. You cannot be in that house when a tornado hits it. You will die. Thank <laughs> you. 
directly to my house. Tornado in very close proximity to my house. I think it's gonna miss it by about a block. Your call has been forwarded to an odd fucking serious. has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Ridiculous. Six, zero, eight, seven, zero, five, zero, two, nine. I think when we first need out to Hello? It's Nikki. Yes, I need you to answer, okay? Okay, you gotta call me on this number because I don't have any service. Okay, here's the deal. It may have missed the house, but do not come out yet because I'm watching another area. Do not think you can save yet. Okay. I mean that very seriously. This is extremely close to the house. Okay. God, I hope this is my house. Hey guys, the location of the the, cam the cyclone door camera on Radar Omega, that is not my house, guys. That is not my house. So for you folks that are referencing that as in the clear, that is not my house. That is just property. That is not my house. I'm not going to disclose where my house is on screen. But I'm extremely concerned for my house. left of center right now because of the hail. All you people that are complaining about it, I don't want to hear it. Just trying to find a spot that's got less wheel slip because of the hail. As soon as we meet oncoming traffic, I'll move back over. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing to gripe about. We're at uh, the 213 and Highway 59 Junction here, if you're watching. No visual. Looks like I could try to do it again. Evansville, this is very, very close to you. Oh, boy, we better get out there and check on the fucking horses. Stop signs down. I think we might have had a tornado hit here. Hey, you might need to go out and check on them, their horses. So why did it hit over there? I think I just drove through the damage path. Are you serious? Let me, uh, let me text him. Yeah, I call uh, let me call him and see. Yeah, I 
get a, get a hold of that guy. He's kind of a mouth breather, but you, if he think you need to tell him if he's not home, he needs to get somebody out there to check. Because I'm very close. I think I just hit the damage map. Okay, let me go call him real quick. I think that was the damage path, guys. A bunch of poles and shit snapped. We are literally a half mile from my house. Oh my god, I think it just barely missed my house. Oh my god. Evansville, you're in the clear. It's a crash wedge there. Can you just send me a team footage just so I can get a statement? Watch out. Circulation is going to pass closer to Edgerton and Albion. Okay, all right, I'll head that way. I'm in Evansville right now. Power's out. I wonder right. if Evansville might have got it. There was actually quite a few power poles snap back here south of Evansville. All right, then. All right, see ya. Yeah, I'm just new to my day, so I would have been able to chase anyways. Okay. Fun. Yeah, all right, see ya. See ya, bye. Uh, power is out here in Evansville. This is a dead zone for cell service, so... again when we come out of town. It's just a bad spot. Go ahead, it's on the ground again. We got a CC drop now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I came across the damage path. Um, is, am I confirming that's northeast of Evansville? Um, let's see. It is... It is just east of Evansville, a little bit on Highway 14. It's about to cross Highway 14, and it just touched down again. Copy that. Um, is that up there, like, by County M, is it Mary? Um, yeah, it's just a little bit south of that. A little bit um, east of M and 14. It's almost at the intersection of M and 14. Copy that. Uh, this is uh, my home turf here. I pretty much know all these roads. I'm going to go east on, uh, uh, I'm going to go up to M and then go east. Let me know if you hear anything. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. Tornado on the ground. Confirmed tornado on the ground. has been forwarded to an automated board. A dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. 301 is on the air, finally.
extremely large and dangerous tornado on the ground doing damage northeast of Evansville. So, okay. Do you need help? Uh, I need you to bear, I need you to go out and make sure my white Tahoe starts. It's almost out of gas. Start it. Turn it back off. Make sure it starts. If it does not start, call me. Okay. Thank you. Located near Albany or near Evansville, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, damage a tornado and half dollar size hail. Source, weather spotters control tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Stoughton, Oregon, Evansville, Brooklyn, Albany, Magnolia, Dayton, Attica, and Cooksville. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. Meet your outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle. Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Guys, I need you all to understand something. Uh, this is my home. This is my life, my family, my friends all live in the path of this tornado. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on uh, emergency response at this point. I'll try to call out details as I can, but this is not a good feeling for me right now. We got damage right here. No way. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. This house is hit. This house is hit. Everybody okay? Is everybody okay? Yeah. Yes? Okay. A little fucking scary. Okay, right? I understand. It's still on the ground up here. 
Okay. So you're you're in the clear here though. Okay. Fuck oh, no. Oh my god, major damage to this house. We've got extensive damage. Oh my god. Oh. Shit. Do you have any uh, STS people monitoring Maine? Can you just notate the current location as County M. Mary and Riley Road? M. Mary and Riley Road. I've got multiple houses damaged, roofs missing. Uh, just notate it for later. I'm going to determine if these need to be called in or occupied or what. Net control, K9 TSU. Running on this channel right now for weather. Normally, yes, but we don't have an active net going right now. Yeah, I mean, Storm Chaser with the media, radar on my gun, Fox weather. I've come across damage on uh, County M. Mary here in Rock County. I'll just call it in. County Mary, 9926 M. Mary, it's east of Evansville. I'll be out of the car checking damage. Several houses, roofs off, buildings destroyed, power lines down. Good? Okay. This is Kilo 9 Tango Sierra United. Um, I do not have a better location. Uh, no injuries reported there. I'm going to continue on uh, these. Looks like the damage path is right here. Kilo 9 -er, Tango Sierra United. Kilo 9 Tango Sierra United. Live stream ongoing. You see the score.net.
You're gonna, you're gonna hear a lot of radio communications, guys. This is my uh, local area. 301, everybody in the blind. There were no injuries at those locations, but pretty extensive damage. Uh, if somebody wants to just message me. Uh, Alright, thank you. That's the best one that you fixed out monitoring your street now. So I'm that area, I will go back and check it later. Our uh, net controller is going to have back window where it is in the US. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I'll stay monitoring as long as I can. I already texted you the address. Copy and FYI, everybody, whether I hear you or not, it's gonna be. I've got. Uh, I'm talking to the EOC, and I've got you guys, and I've got everybody else. So, if something's important. You might have to repeat it 20 times. Okay. Through Albion or just close? Yeah, they don't really have fire response. I'm headed to Albion. Albion. Yeah, I'm headed there right now. I'm getting power flashes, distinct green flashes from the ground, not the sky up that way, so it's probably from that. Yeah, it's stuck across Interstate 3990. Copy. Confirmed tornado on the ground. This is not good. We haven't seen a strong tornado hit this area for some time. Fort Atkinson, you need to be watching out. Uh, Midwest, I forgot your 196, whoever the Midwest unit was. I'm going to be heading uh, directly toward Fort Atkinson now. This is uh, County Road H. Do you have an opinion on this? I'm not looking at radar. Do you think this is going to cycle and do it again, or do you think it's done? 
I'm just trying to determine if I should go look for damage or if I should be continuing on this. I mean, there's a chance. Um, it's running out of instability. There's a lot of stable air building it. Um, but I'm missing a cookie for a little longer, but that's up to you. If you get a strong opinion either way, feel free to let me know, but I'm probably just going to head toward Albion right now. It's going to be a while before we hear reports out of there because that's really kind of a nothing town, so I'll head up that way. I should come across that damage path. Sounds good. I'll keep watching. Okay. 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 Now this 
guy mashes the pedal, I go to pass him and he mashes it? Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? You ever wonder why people do that? They're doing 20 under the speed limit, you go to pass them and then they just like stop. Or they just lower it. Right now I'm using my uh, remote controlled spotlight here, the new addition to the truck. Make sure we don't hit anything. We should be close to the damage. If we can find it. circulation went right over this location. to shine up at the power line so I don't run into one and get clotheslined. I've done that a few times in my career, some of you may remember. freaked out. I, it's moving. It's barely moving. Yeah, go ahead, Keenan. I wasn't sure if you heard again. Just saw a touchdown again by Lake Kosh Kanong. Yeah. I'm getting close to Fort Atkinson. Fucking radio died. Yeah. So, I uh, I went through Albion. I didn't find... Yeah, there it came over the radio. Okay, I got it. Uh, okay. I'm yeah, it looked like it could have lifted right before Albion. It was probably just debris fallout when it was crossing the end. Yeah, I'm basically just following this road all the way up towards Fort Atkinson and see what I come across. Yeah, good plan. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Tornado with snow on the ground, isn't that nuts? a lot of small debris down like little little sticks and stuff so I wonder if we're about to come into something bigger getting mixed reports uh, there are reports that this is back on the ground maybe was on the ground is lifted up and down who knows so Sticks down still. Using all available lighting here. I do not want to hit a tree. a damage path at any moment, so we got to be really careful here of stuff in the road. Like that right there, tree. Basically, right up this road. I've seen some branches down. I haven't seen anything. Down in LBS, just after the south east of 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 the south east Oh yeah, we got damage here. 
Just a couple of trees down. I don't see anything too crazy. Just a couple of pieces of sheet metal. on the way back to check damage and we'll pull that shit out of the road. I'm obligated I live here. Folks, if you're new here, please subscribe. There's 5,000 of you guys watch me run around like an idiot. Thank you. Well, we got, uh oh, I think we might have just came across damage. Uh, some sheet metal was over there, but that was about it. Not much.
and check for damage. by tornado warning. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I think I've got a... I might have a headlight out. I think I got a headlight out. Let's go figure. Maybe not. I think it's just because the road is so wet. And the road is so wet. Alright, we're gonna go back and observe damage here, guys. There was quite a bit. Watching that other storm down there by Janesville still too. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. 
contact with the affected houses. Talk to those that I have no uh, I might have to uh, reboot my inverter here. Hang on. You so my inverter is freaking out. I have no idea, no idea what that was all about. And that should boot back up. Weird. First Southeast in Jefferson County until 7 o'clock p.m. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Fort Atkinson, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazards would be tornadoes and quarter size signal. Impacted locations include Fort Atkinson, Jefferson, Johnson Creek, Lake Hashkanon, Rome, Hebron, Sullivan, Collinsville, and the National Weather Service in Sullivan. Jefferson County Clear, 1833. Heading back to check on this damage. Hello? Hey Vince, it's Alyssa at Fox Weather. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Do you have time to do um, an interview or a phoner quickly? Uh, not right now. We've got quite a bit of damage. It's still a pretty active scene. Uh, maybe in an hour or two or three, if you guys need it, then I probably could. Okay. All right. We'll call you back in a little bit then. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Be safe. Yeah, we gotta put we gotta put the stuff on scene first. It's good to do those media interviews, but the active scene is very volatile still. We're gonna go back here and uh, check on that damage that I found, guys. Thank you for following along, folks. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here, you definitely want to consider subscribing. I was not expecting this today. I thought this was going to be a garbage chase. And uh, we ended up with a tornado within like a mile of my freaking house. It was unreal. Not a good feeling. We uh, come across trees and stuff down here. I'll, if they're big trees, I'll saw them off. But I didn't really see any that were a hazard. Yeah, I think the title is a little inaccurate today. I completely agree. Uh. 
Oh, that's a tight corner. I'll tell you what, I need front brakes on this, so man, these rotors are warped. tree right there. That one's been mostly cut though. You can't really cut that much more. It's been cut back about as far as it is without needing a bigger saw. It's like power's out here. No, that was just a flat piece of wood. There's some trees down, but nothing big or major here. Expect a tornado today. The Gory Road. I've got a resident with the rest yelling to me. Uh, I think he's okay, but I can't make it just power myself. Uh, you know.
not a single track tornado. This was most likely several tornadoes that touched down along the same path. That's why we're not going to see this big consistent damage path. We are going to go back and find what we can. Thunderstorm warning 
24. Southern Milwaukee County in southeastern Wisconsin. Northern Walworth County in southeastern Wisconsin. Northwestern Racine County in southeastern Wisconsin. Southern Waukesha County in southeastern Wisconsin. Until 7.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.22 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Elkhorn, moving northeast at 50 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Milwaukee, Waukesha, West Dallas, Watosa, New All right, we'll be back to that uh, that first area or spot of damage was east of Evansville on County L. We'll come across that here probably in about 10 minutes. That's probably the worst damage I saw. Pretty significant. Everybody was saying they were okay, though. The people that I stopped and talked to, they were okay. And then the people at the house with the roof and the one wall blown off, they gave me a thumbs up from across the yard. So. Thank you for following along, everybody. I really appreciate all the support. It's a hell of a way to break in the new vehicle, that's for sure. I am finding out I need front brakes. The brakes are fine. The rotors are warped, though, probably from slamming on them. To slam on them a couple of times because of those trees. But that's all right. Couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you. Remember, this is uh, this is my home, so it's. I know there was some pretty negative feedback earlier when I'm cussing myself out and stuff on the stream. You got to understand, there was literally a tornado that went within like a mile and a half of my home. So. When there's a tornado on the ground doing significant damage very close to your house, where you live, where your family is physically at, and you're offended because I am audibly irritated, then I kindly ask that you don't watch. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. But you guys got to understand, when there's a tornado on the ground doing damage that could kill somebody, and it's going for my house, I'm not going to be sunshine and rainbows. And if that's what you want, you're on the wrong channel. That's all I'm saying. That is, a feel, I, that is a horrible feeling that I never thought I would have. Because we're in a pretty tornado... We live in a pretty anti-tornado area. Like, we don't get strong tornadoes in this area very often. We can get them. But we usually don't. Usually when we do get tornadoes, they're just little spin-up tornadoes and the big deal. It doesn't happen often up here. You don't even think about it happening. You don't even think of it as like a possibility. Follow this thing basically from the beginning.
we'll be coming up on that shortly. We're gonna have to go, what do we go south on? Yeah, this next one I'm gonna to wanna to go left and that'll take us down to uh, M. Take us to the damage. That's why, so we're not connected to the satellite. We've been on the satellite the whole time. Duh. So I have a new Wi-Fi network for the satellite. And uh, I think I forgot to connect the live view to it. Whoops. Oh, this is probably my road, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of a dead spot here for a bit. May come across damage on this road. The signal's going to be a little rough here until this connects. Yeah, I never thought that I would have a tornado within walking distance of my house, basically, on a live stream, let alone. Holy crap. I 
Coming up on that here in about be the next intersection after the next intersection or two after this one. We're gonna to want to keep an eye off to our right. So I think we'll come across that damage path up here soon. The northern extent of it. Yeah, that's our stop sign. This is not what I expected for the first uh, chase on this truck, that's for sure. I'm going to shine the spotlight over there just in case we do see something. Uh, we've got to get some water repellent on this darn windshield. It's just, without that water repellent, it just smears and glares at night. be a tree up here. Yep, look at that. That's fantastic. I can't. That's too big of a tree for me. Let me get a look at this. I could cut it, but I don't think that one up there, we ain't no cutting that. This one I can cut, but not that other one. There's a house just completely destroyed here. I feel like maybe I need to go check on this. I don't... I'm 
Yeah, this house over here is just destroyed. I'm sure it's been checked on, but I almost feel like I'm obligated here. Because it just seems like there's been nobody around. Oh, cops just showed up. Never mind, it should be good. State Patrol says that uh, this house has been checked on and they're okay. That's good. Because the house is totally destroyed. Absolutely totally destroyed. a different He did tell me that uh, Evansville really just minor damage reports out of Evansville, but power's out pretty much everywhere around here right now. That's what the cops are saying. Uh, north, 
Acacia Road, about a mile north of M. Complete blockage, there's multiple companies down. House is uh, very damaged, but it sounds like the owner was able to get out and uh, go to our neighbors. No injuries at all. Okay. This, this is a pretty rural part of Wisconsin. Yeah, here's Riley Road, so we just go south here. It's a pretty rural part of Wisconsin, but the police response is usually pretty good. It's always the fire response to stuff like this. There's, there might not be a lot of people, but there's a lot of people that come help. down this next yeah. road.
tornado might have been a little bit spotty, you know, up and down. Tree down. Oh, yeah, well, I ain't gonna get through here. 5304, sorry. Happy, we have a couple of welfare trucks in your There's area. Like for patients that are on There's like five trees power. down here. Go to the first one, 740 Brown School Road, 740 Brown School, apartment 104. Yeah, there's like five trees down. Screw that. Power lines down, minor tree debris here. tornadoes any time of the year, even in Wisconsin in freaking February. I think the statistic being said is, uh, I, I believe this is our first February tornado in the state of Wisconsin ever, or well, in, in recorded history. I'm sure, you know, we okay. started keeping weather records in what, the 1800s, 1880s, or 19 or something, whatever. So, I mean, I'm sure there's been a tornado at some point, you know, in the history of the earth here, but since we've been recording tornadoes, there has not been one documented here and rated in Wisconsin ever in February, I believe, so. That tells you anything. This is literally my home turf. You know, I grew up here, and I live here, and I have people that I know here. My family lives here. Not, I don't like this at all. It's not. It gives you a perspective here for what uh, some of these people go through after they get hit by tornadoes. It teaches you a little bit of compassion. Um, I was probably, you know, I, I was about, you know, <laughs> literally just a sliver away from watching my house get hit by a tornado and ruined tonight. So. Uh, it's a real thing, you know. The, the the school bus route that I used to go on to school, there was a tornado that crossed it. Where we first saw the tornado, that was by literally we drove by the house I lived in when I was a kid, right when when we first spotted that thing back there at uh, 59 and SS. We drove right by the house I, I spent like the first 12 years of my life in, and you know I used to think about how awesome it would be to look outside my window and see a tornado when I was a kid. And I never, never would have ever guessed that uh, one day I would uh, literally be driving by that house and uh, be looking at a freaking tornado, let alone live streaming it to 5,000 people. It's, uh, it gives you a little bit of uh, perspective. You know, I think a lot of people, uh, their testosterone gets a little bit overly boosted. Head south on North Tolls Road toward Westgate. And I'm not talking about a certain individual or not like that that's i'm just saying like it seems like this turns into a big old pp measuring contest out here with these storm chasers and 
it's kind of a stark reminder when this stuff almost hits your house and hits houses of people you know and you know this tornado hit a house of somebody I grew up with when I went to went to school and I mean the house is okay um, they were out there walking around I didn't stop because we had to get to the tornado and I saw them they were okay but it really gives you a perspective on this stuff you know it's not uh, this isn't uh, this isn't about uh, views and oh my god F5 wedge you know it's, it's not what this is about it's about people and we've got to make sure that while we're out here trying to capture this stuff on photo and video, we've got to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to warn people about these things, too. Um, it, it's it, it's not a good feeling, and it's a feeling I've probably never had, uh, and uh, probably I hope I never have it again, where you, uh, you know, you're playing a scenario in your mind. It's like, all right, you know, how, how do we preserve as much possible stuff in the house? And that, that's why I wanted uh, family to leave with a vehicle because our house is not going to be safe in a tornado it's just old construction so I, I mean you start playing these scenarios in your head and I think everybody's thought of it at one point like hey if there was a tornado or or a forest fire something coming to my house like what would I grab what would I do and I tell you what um, there is no right or wrong answer that's for sure Obviously, it's important to uh, shelter from tornadoes, there are scenarios where you do need to seek other options. Uh, it's up to you to make those decisions. We cannot approach from the south as there is down waters from 14 as we turn down tolls. Is there any way to get south of here that you know of that's not covered in trees everywhere? There is not. Okay, so let's go way the hell around. Yeah, it's okay. practically go all the way back to Edgerton, almost, yep. like probably County H, okay. but we have 14 shut down too. That's fine. Yeah, this, now this is especially, I don't know if you've been east of here or not. Yes. Oh yeah, it's not, I, I wouldn't have expected this first tornado we've had in Wisconsin in yeah. February. So. Where are you trying to get to? We're just going around checking. Numbers on so. the phones okay. have been really wonky. We're yeah. call one. That's all right. We'll keep looking, but yeah, it's. I mean, this thing was on the ground almost all the way to Fort Atkinson, so. need to put some traffic control up here because they're going to get overwhelmed with uh, people going down this road. <laughs> I think people are literally just trying to get uh, get anywhere at this point. They, they can't. Yeah, I would open up. Uh, the problem is, guys, like, I have no problem cutting trees off the road, but I haven't come across a single spot where we could actually cut the tree... There, these trees that are down are freaking massive. Like some of them are, they're like five feet around. I mean, like I don't even think I could put my arm around a couple of them. These lines right on this corridor are what we need to see as we go forward. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like uh, I can cut some of the smaller branches, but my saw is not gonna get through some of these. Like I haven't found, but right behind the bigger one that. 
Like, it, this is a mess. Maryland Pete is the female that is in danger during this. It's the residence store in this So we can have a person who is the residence directed to the south. There are men who are there with her now. Uh, we're trying to get her son out of residence right now. Grandson is fine. Still injured. Do you need any additional out there? 4 negative, but this, we're going to have to have the shutdown. There's a guy in the skip loader here trying to clear the roadway. Uh, it's actually going to be 9218, and I just want to confirm the address. I got a 28 here in the driveway for you. Oh, now they got traffic control up here. Go ahead with the plate. Nice. Wisconsin, PC, 181. Yes, 81. I have an ATC rep with me. Where was those lines? 9218 KC in the area of 9218 KC. Hey man, I'm with the uh, I'm with the power company with ATC. Can I scoot around down and get down past you here and look at some stuff? Is there poles? I heard there's poles down at North Poles Road.
Before I need them here, Wilder. Continue on East Main Street for one mile. Ten four. He's got that address written down. He'll be making his way there. Eager court, 134 Eager Court for a patient on oxygen. Did either of you make it there? Looks like Evansville, the town, is okay. 2503 Andre Avenue. 2503 Andre Avenue for a lift assist. Cross streets are South Huron Drive, to South Sumac Drive, South Sumac to South Huron. Can you go to 134 Eager Court if the patient who's on oxygen has no power there? Yeah, power's probably going to be out here for a while. Thank you. At least it's not freezing cold out. 3110 for the down. They were supposed to call back when they got there. They said the EPA was 20 minutes. That was 30 minutes ago. So they should be there right now. Worker out here at Gibson Hall checking the lines out here and then fire checking out that gas station right now. Choose Sumac. Our district is Jamesville 47. Just for information, the uh, reporting party's husband is the one that fell and is extremely intoxicated. PD is also in the They're requesting the license sirens. Thank 
Evansville, no power. I don't really expect Lakeside, power. He's got a tornado. 312 was in road to uh, Evansville. 14. Poles and some signs down up here. Looks like maybe some light yeah, arm damage, you. but this is the first spot where I saw the damage. Yep, small light damage, light damage. The county units. Is there anybody available? Twenty-one. I can't get here at Four hundred three. We have a call for a welfare check at Mountain View Mobile Home Park. One five zero one. Road. There's a 14-year-old child there that was in a shelter during the tornado. 
tornado and they are unable to reach his mother. The mother is at 44 miles an hour to the street of her to Check on the Green County side of the Casey Road. county line here. 59 I haven't heard reports of any um, major injuries or anything. Everything I've heard has been minor injuries here and there. Obviously, that's an unofficial report. Okay, we're cruising through there. We're going to work through a supervisor here on the team. We just need to get some uh, cranes and put them through there. Stop sign here, tornado took it though.
This is a house event right now, 9002 Casey. No injuries here. Female from 9218. A house just has a couple of trees down, nothing big. Watch the third spot for one of the trees, and there's nobody there either. So this area right here, we're not going to get anything. We're going to move on to the next resort. Where Green 
there. Um, the call out to North Casey Road at 9812, uh, did somebody radio in to turn the laundry set? that joke about how we had to watch that one specifically because it was coming from Illinois and nothing good comes from there. I told you. That's a joke. Please, no offense. It's, it's a joke. I used to live in Illinois.
thought this town was going to take a direct hit and it missed town. I was really worried about that. Go up here to where that damage report is plotted on the map. They still got their Christmas lights up. That's like a 10 of 10 display. They're a little bit late or early, one of the two. What a nice Christmas light display. It's February though. A little out of season. dash camera is about to die. I did not plug it in because I was in such a haste to get out the door. Yeah, if you lose the, the video here for a second, I'll flip to the other camera or something. We're about to wrap up. I just want to check this one spot. Yeah. We're north of Albany, Wisconsin right now. From the area. Thank you everybody for uh, watching and following today. It's been a hectic and uh, uncomfortable day to say the least. Uh, thanks for following along uh, in the brand, well not brand new, new to us uh, truck. Definitely got put to good use. I'm going to start wrapping this up unless I come across something here. Thank you again, everybody. Seriously, I mean that as sincerely as I possibly can. The best audience on here. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, look, a deer. Oh, another deer. Hello, deer. Shouldn't play. Hey, get out of the road. Yeah, you better run, stupid ass deer. Probably just saved that deer's life. Taught that little shit a lesson. I sure did. job to protect the wildlife.
All right, folks, I'm going to start shutting this thing down. 1050 you. Sincerely appreciate everybody's generosity today with watching, and thanks for being part of the live stream. I'll try to get some uh, interesting moments out of the stream clipped out and made into YouTube shorts and maybe post it tonight. Yeah. The next live I'm stream looks like it's going to be on Sunday from uh, the Gulf Coast area. But thanks, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll, uh, if I find more information out about anything tonight and what uh, tornadoes are rated and such, I will, uh, I'll pass those along here on the YouTube community page as soon as I know that information. But I'm sure they'll be out surveying tomorrow and the following day. With that, folks, I'm going to go find something for dinner, and I hope you all have a really good night. So much for uh, a quiet day. Uh, contact information. I, we didn't even have to drive all the way out there to Gratiot or wherever we were on uh, in southwest Wisconsin. Well, I literally could have just sat at home. Go figure. Thanks again, guys and girls. Have a great night.